In this tutorial, I would like to show you how can you create your first web page by basic HTML, run page by live server and validate your HTML code by W3C Web Validator. HTML Hypertext Markup Language is a standard markup language for document designed to be displayed in a web browser that is introduced by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. Web browser receive HTML document from web server and render the document into web pages. HTML element are the building block of web pages. If you check a web page, then you can see lots of image text is arranged in a structured way. But behind the scene, this page is constructed by several types of HTML tags. HTML elements are defined by tags, written using angle bracket, such as HTML, body, h on, p, and so on. Basically, HTML element must have open tag and close tag. Content goes between them. But some tag have not any open close tag instead of a single tag. For example, image, input, and so on. I will discuss about this issue on later. HTML page enclosed by open HTML tag and close HTML tag. It has two part head and body. In the head part contains title, meta, link type of tag and basically your web page content goes between the body tag parts. Now time to create your first HTML page. I'd like to use my favorite Visual Studio Code Editor. You can download the latest version of Visual Studio Code Editor from www.code.visualstudio.com Anywhere in your computer, create a folder that name is HTML. Open the Visual Studio Code Editor from the File Open Folder. Explore your HTML folder. Create a file index.html. Here, .html is a file extension. Before start coding, I'd like to install auto close tag VS Code extension. Go to VS Code left sidebar extension tab, search auto close tag and install it. It will help me to written code in a way when I am write the open tag then automatically close tag will be appeared. First, write doctype HTML. The doctype declaration represents the document type as HTML and help browser to display web page correctly. HTML lang en. Start HTML tag that is root element of HTML page and language attribute as English. And it is the HTML end tag. All web page content goes between them. Enclose head tag that contain meta information about the HTML page. And body tag that defines the document's body and it is contained for all visible content. Inside the head tag, write meta character set UTF-8. This is meta tag used for UTF-8 character set attribute specified the character encoding for HTML document. Meta HTTP equivalent XUA compatible content IES. This meta tag tell Microsoft Internet Explorer to use the latest rendering engine as Meta name v4 content with equal device width initial scale 
this is give the browser instruction and uh, how to control the page dimension and scaling meta name description content this is my first web page the meta name description is an html element summarize the web page meta name keyword content html first website page write seo friendly keyword declare and help to search engine what is the topic of the pages meta name author content uh, abdullah mamun declare author name for the documentation title web page title title tag define the title of the web browser toolbar link reference icon hyperlink global.ico type image or gif size 16 into 16 a favicon is a small file containing the on or more icon which is used to represent the website uh, i have already global.ioc image file in the directory inside the body tag write your web page content first heading tag contain the page heading hello world page tag p contain this is my first html page go to html folder directory and open the index.html in google chrome mozilla firefox or any other web browser now you can see the first web page is appeared right click on your page and select view page source then you can see the enter source code now i would like to relating this web page to your source code here meta tag description keyword author will help you to seo friendly for your web page inside the title tag content will appear to the tab text and link icon will be set is an image Ace on tag content is the displaying an web page heading text and p tag content displaying the web page paragraph text. Notice that web page URL appeared the absolute path for the file location, but basically a web page is run over a web server. So same way I would like to run this web page over the web server live server vs code extension will help you to do this go to vs code left sidebar extension tab search live server and install it it launches a development local server with your live reload feature for static and dynamic pages right click on the html file and click open with live server then it will automatically run the page over web server after written a html code segment it is important to maintain proper tag rules now time to validate your html page by w3c web validator that is web url is validate.w3c.org copy your enter html source code and in the validate by direct input paste it or you can upload to your html file to the validate by file upload now click check it will show all error warning for the source code segment in this case document checking complete and no error or warning to show same way you can install w3c web validator vs code extension to do the same things after written any code segment automatically show error warning by right bottom pop-up you can check enter tutorial from my blog page that is techntutes.com also you can clone enter source code from my github repository both link provide in the description box i hope you enjoy this tutorial please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much